Welcome back. It's another installment of Frank's Friendly Cars. Today we're going to talk about brakes. Hey, uh, this is a set of front brake pads from a 2005 Toyota Matrix. You see there's two brake pads, one for each side. Now when you apply uh, pressure to the brake pedal inside the car, then these get pressed against the rotor and uh, this is what slows down the car. Okay, so I'm showing you these because you'll notice this really interesting discoloration uh, this discoloration on the uh, uh, edge of the brake where it contacts the rotor okay um, it's turned red and uh, this uh, does not happen naturally this one is particularly bad you can see the redness all right, so uh, when these come from the factory, they're a uniform color throughout. There's no discoloration anywhere on the brakes, um, on the brake pads. And uh, what happened with these is these were a nice little Toyota Matrix, and uh, it was rented to a really nice couple, super nice people. They've been renting uh, from me for years. And I always give them one of my best cars whenever they show up because I really like these folks. And uh, when they returned this car last time, uh, one of their comments was, the car ran flawlessly. Uh, we took it up Haleakala. No problems. Well, they did not note any problem, but in fact there was a big problem. And as soon as I got in the car and drove about a hundred feet, I knew that the brakes were cooked. So uh, I took these out, uh, put the car uh, up on the lift and took these out for inspection and that's when I found this uh, discoloration on the edge of the brake pads and, and this brake pad is basically turned into powder. I can tear it apart just with my fingernails. And for those of you who don't know, Haleakala is a 10,000 foot mountain that rises from sea level in a distance of about 25 miles. And most people uh, going up, they have no problem, but coming down Haleakala, what they tend to do is the top 5,000 feet or so, which are very steep, steeper than the rest, on their way down, they keep their foot on the brake the entire way. They never lift their foot off the brake because that's the only way that they know to keep the car's speed under control because nobody ever taught them about how to downshift. Even in an automatic, you can downshift. You can shift into a lower gear and then the engine, we'll get engine braking that will slow down the car. It will limit the speed of the car without any undue reliance on the brakes. And uh, most people may have heard this in their driver's ed class sometime uh, when they were teenagers, but then they promptly went and forgot all about it. And uh, this is the result. They come to Maui, they jump in the car, they drive it up the top of Haleakala, and then on the way down, they just burn the brakes of the car and render them completely useless and they don't even know that they're doing it. Alright, uh, so um, we have no way of verifying that our um, rental car customers have any actual driving knowledge or experience so this is something that we have to live with and this actually cost the entire margin on the rental of that car was taken up by replacing the brakes that means we didn't make a penny on that rental and maybe we even lost money and uh, there's nothing we can do about it because uh, well there's nothing we can do about it except grin and bear it relax and enjoy it they say uh, but uh, Maybe posting something like this will help people to understand a little bit better and maybe try to find out and educate themselves about how to drive a car coming down long steep hills to avoid damaging their brakes. Okay, thanks guys and uh, aloha from Maui.